Hello, this is Chidi Igwe, author of the book Taking Back Nigeria from 419. Your Igbo teacher at the Igbo Language and Cultural School online, www.iboteacher.com or www.iboschool.com, chidi.igwe at gmail.com. In this lesson today, I'm going to teach you how to use subject pronouns in Igbo. You will also learn how to conjugate the verb Igbo to be in the present tense. You will see how to conjugate, how to use this verb conjugated in the present tense plus your subject pronouns and also a few professions to learn how to express what you are, your professions. Subject pronouns usually begin sentences. They do the actions of the verbs. In English, we have I as a first person singular, you as the second person singular, he, she, it as the third person singular. The concept of first person, second person, third person is all about who is speaking. Now I am the one speaking. So I am not going to be repeating my name Chidi 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 all the time. I'm going to use this pronoun to replace my name. And you remember the gra that the grammatical function of a pronoun is to replace a noun, to be used instead of a noun. So the, f the person speaking, if he is alone or if she is alone, then we say singular, first person singular. I am speaking to you. I'm not going to be saying your name all the time. So I'm going to use you to replace your name. You, the second person singular, because you are alone. I'm talking to you about the Igbo school. So Igbo school is third person singular, which can be it. But if I'm talking to you about a man, he third person singular or about a woman she third person singular we is the plural the first person's plural so we is the plural of I and I am speaking to you but I have somebody else with me here so both of us are speaking to you and we replace our names using we we are speaking to you and another friend of yours and we replace the names that's both of you using you. They, we are talking to you about a group of people out there and we say they, third person's plural. In Igbo, repeat after me. M or mo. E O We have as our, as our studies have revealed that O becomes O in front of certain verbs Any This can be pronounced I Uno. Ha. Now we are going to use these subject pronouns to conjugate the verb able to be. Repeat. Mbo. Ebo. Abo. Anyebo Unubo Habo Now we'll be using combining the subject pronouns, the verb able conjugated in the present tense, and these professions that we will be putting onye before the profession if the profession is singular that is if it repre if it represents one person 
if the profession is plural, we'll be saying nde. Repeat, mbo onyenkuzi. I am a teacher. Ibo onye di beke. Obo onye okaipe. Ayibo ndi ntakoko. So ayi is plural and we use ndi which is plural. But o is singular and we use onye which is singular. Onobo ndi onubo. Habo ndi okubwala. Here we have a few more professions. Okachuku Onye Okubuelu Onye Okubwam Miri and plural ones Ndi Okubuelu Ndi Okubwam Miri. So the exercise that we're going to do now is I'm going to make some sentences in English and you will make them in Igbo. How would you say I am a journalist? Good job if you said Mbo Onye Ntakoko Nta means hunting Akoko news or story Ntakoko Onye Ntakoko somebody or one who hunts for news or stories How would you say She is a medical doctor. Good job if you said Obo Onye Dibia Beke. How would you say We are teachers? Good job if you said Anyibo ndi nkuzi. This is where I'm going to stop this lesson. Uh, continue to practice. Your teacher has been Chidi Iwe of the Igbo Language and Cultural School online. www.iboteacher.com or www.iboteacher.com ibo school dot com chidi dot igwe at gmail dot com